common man is often overwhelmed by fear of loss, loss of money, security or scarcity. Before one tackles this fear, it would be worthwhile to ask oneself these questions. Can we remember a situation where, gripped by the fear of money loss, we were stuck for good with fear and could never find a way out of that fear ever since? We know for certain that although we went through this fear, there was never a time in the past when we were stuck to the problem for good. Never. We always found our way out. Did we feel that in our prior panic attacks in relation to fear about money, we did something spectacular to get out of the problem? The answer certainly would be that one did not do anything phenomenal to circumvent that fear. It seems to fade away with passage of time, maybe with just the run of the mill efforts. We need to realize that such fears had no base and it was just out of habit that we were fearful. A habit that we were caught into, imbibed through upbringing, society, parents, friends, competition and other external agents. Fear is more of a habitual response rather than it being a hard reality. It is yet a common experience that fear freezes you and batters confidence. The solution to tackling fear is much simpler than it seems. One has to investigate one's response to statements like, If I pay my children's tuition fees, is it quite possible that to make up for the loss, I may have to sell all my property? I may have to then dwell on street pavements and also then I may not have money for food and clothing? The next thought on which one should ruminate is this. If I pay my children's fees, it is possible that my bank account shall become completely empty. It is possible that I may lose my job and again I will be on the roads. If the answers to the above questions is a certain no, then one has to be rest assured that one is simply imagining one's fears. If you come to the conclusion that all our fears are more or less baseless, every time you test the situations with the questions raised here, you shall automatically become relaxed. One has to develop this questioning mentality as a new habit. Following this habit, one shall be redeemed out of all fears. This is a guarantee. One has to learn to withdraw one's thoughts from all of one's fears through practice. Repeating a mantra to divert one's mind and repeating the mantra aloud every time one's mind rushes towards fears is one that should deliver immense value. One will gain a few things out of this practice. One should have more place to relax and move to something more fruitful rather than expending energy on baseless fears. This shall make one more creative automatically with more practice. One shall slowly overcome all fears of the nagging type in due course of time.